In the northern New York town of Moores, those running for office are hoping for your vote on November's ballot. But some candidates are facing a problem keeping their signs on streets. NBC5's Elena Burla has that story. Knocks at your front door and campaign signs on every corner. We all know what election season looks like. Just feeling uh, was time to make a change and make a change in this community. Joseph Bolris is running for highway superintendent of the town of Moores. First time with politics. He's put small signs all around town and two of these big ones. We didn't bring it together. We brought it in pieces because we couldn't move it because it was so large to fit in the vehicle. Standing about six feet tall and 200 pounds, you can't miss it. Campaign signs fill the intersection of Route 11 and Route 22, a perfect spot for a big sign that Bolra says he put out on Sunday. The sign was sitting right here, right here in this position facing uh, south towards Plattsburgh. But now it's gone. No way. When I heard it, I thought for sure it was a joke. So this has got to be a joke. Who would take that sign that quick? It hasn't been there 24 hours yet. He believes it was stolen. I feel that maybe somebody doesn't want me to have this position. State police say they're investigating this. Costing about $800 to build, police say someone can be charged with petty larceny for taking it and would likely get an appearance ticket. Bullris suspects it was politically motivated. You know, it wasn't just kids. It was somebody that had it planned. You know, when they saw the sign, they knew what they needed to take it apart and get it out of here. But he's not the only candidate with sign troubles. Barber Ryan Garand is supporting Jerrica Manning for town council, but believes someone took his sign last month. It's still visible, it's just nobody can access it. A new one now sitting inside. It's just a respect thing. You know, not everybody's going to agree, but we have the freedom to express ourselves, you know, and that, that's kind of what makes us humans and American citizens. Jerrica Manning says the goal is to have a free and fair election. Bulra saying while stolen or damaged signs can be common in any race, it doesn't make it okay. We all deserve to be able to voice our opinion, to, to run for something if we want to run for something and not get shamed out of it by stealing signs or running over them or it's just not, not the way to do things. In Moore's, Elena Barilla, NBC5 News.